Query Cat's Original Characters Fan Fiction Night Shadows Nine Lives by Stormy Draws, obviously. Fear clawed at Night Shadow's belly as he touched his nose to the icy stone. The cold sucked the breath from his body and his eyes shot open with alarm. Instead of the murky cavern he was in moments before, he found himself in a grassy field. Ghostly outlines of cats surrounding him, too many of them familiar. Welcome, Night Shadow, they spoke as one. Where's Ashtar? he asked, confused. The leader had touched the stone a few heartbeats before him to have her remaining lives revoked. Don't worry, a grey tabby mewed. Lives can only be revoked by the first medicine cats of the clans. This answer relaxed him. His sister was just somewhere else getting the bothersome lives revoked. Now, are you ready to receive your lives? The voice asked as one again. Yes, he never expected to be standing here. The first cat to step up made his chest ache. Silver's gray tabby pelt was dotted with stars just like the other cats around her, and it brought him so much relief to know that his mate was safe in the ranks of Star Clan. With this life, I give you love. Don't let past heartbreak sour your heart. She touched her nose to his forehead and he felt something he hadn't felt since Silver was alive. Then all too soon came a blinding pain and fear. Then he realized he was feeling her death. He was close to tears as Silver stepped back and he reached his muzzle over to nuzzle her. It would be a long time before they could be together again. Next came a cat Night Shadow felt he should recognize but couldn't remember. I'm Moon Shadow. The Black Tom was Night Shadow's father, who had died the day Night Shadow was born, murdered by a clanmate. With this life, I give you justice. Use it to defend those who can no longer defend themselves. With this life came only pain and a strong feeling of resentment and regret. The last things his father felt. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Moon Shadow murmured as he walked away. As the next cat stepped up, Night Shadow realized that all these cats had died far too soon and would leave a veil of sadness over him. White Wing, one of his sisters who had died to save him. It should have been me, he thought. With this life, I give you sacrifice. Remember that the cats around you have far less lives. Use your lives wisely to protect those around you, be they clan or outsider. A feeling of determination and sadness mixed with pain. This wasn't the worst of the lives he'd gotten, far less pain than the last one. She knew what her choice meant, he thought, looking into his sister's ice-blue eyes. Her life wasn't ripped from her like moon shadow or silver. Next was Rabbit Skip. The lean brown she-cat had been an elder for his old life, and he had never imagined she could be so strong-looking. With this life, I give you swiftness. Use it well to provide for your clan. No pain accompanied this life. Instead, he felt as if he was running through Fern Clan's forest, dodging trees and brambles. Next came a familiar blue-gray pelt, Blue Heart, his other sister. She had been ripped away by Green Cough right before her kids were apprenticed. With this life, I give you a mother's love. Use it well to protect those weaker than you. He had expected this one to be painless like the last one, and in a way, it was. There was a strong feeling of love, but there was also a fierce, protective feeling that washed over him. Blue Heart playfully batted his ears before walking away to be replaced by a dark tortoiseshell pelt, Brindle Pelt, Ashtar's birth mother and former deputy of Fern Clan. His memories of her were faded as he was very young when she was murdered. With this life, I give you bravery. The life of a warrior is not without its dangers. Use this to help you face it all. All at once, Night Shadow felt as if he was in the middle of a fierce battle. But he felt no fear until he felt someone grab his scruff and then the cat slash his throat. He almost swore he could hear his mother's yell of agony, and all at once he was reminded of hearing that same yowl all those moons ago, huddled in the nursery in fear. Next came his older brother Shade Frost, who was also his mentor. He looked better than Night Shadow had seen him in a while. He was still tall, but instead of the thin, sick elder he had been, he was now as Night Shadow remembered as a kit and apprentice. Has it really been that long since I was young, he thought? Had I really gotten so used to him as an elder that I forgot what he used to be like? 
With this life, I give you mercy. Use it well in your future decisions. This was another painless life, and he felt nothing but mercy and care. Swallow Fever was next. The same pang of sadness he had felt for Silver boiled to the surface again. If things had been different, he might not even be a Fern Clan cat anymore. But Swallowfeather's heart didn't belong to him, and Nightshadow respected that. They had been friends until Swallowfeather's dying day. With this life, I give you friendship. Use it to look beyond clan borders, as you never know where you'll find an ally. Feelings of joy filled him as he felt like the two of them were both alive and well, play fighting and chasing each other. He wanted to savor this life, but it was over too fast. Lastly came his mother, Bright Star. The massive white she cat looked strong than Night Shadow had ever seen her. And he finally understood why, whenever Duskclaw told stories from his mother's youth, he described her as a badger in cat form. Her muzzle was blocky and broad. Each step of her massive paw seemed to shake the ground. My son, with this life, I give you forgiveness. A very long time ago, I was gifted this exact life and I failed to live up to it. I hope you will learn from my mistake and not let your past darken your heart. This life seemed to clear his head. It was the most peace he'd been in in moons. Your old life is no more, his mother started. Wait! Before you give me my new name, I have a request. When no one protested, he took it as his cue to speak. I wish to be called Shadow Star. After all, there is already a Night Star in recent memory. Very well, Bright Star continued. From this day forward, you are Shadow Star. We grant you guardianship of Fern Clan.